Hello, this is JRC Design, and this is a, just a quick overview on my Fangry leg stiffener kit. Um, I don't have them installed right now, but you know, you can see the legs are pretty bad. Uh, this one has been made exponentially worse because I have popped the pin out multiple times when I was experimenting with the leg stiffeners. Um, Basically, I ended up... Oh, no, I put it in backwards, too. I didn't even notice that until now. Ah, we'll roll it. Um, I, when I was experimenting with these leg stiffeners... Oh, yeah, won't stand. Uh, when I was experimenting with these leg stiffeners, I had a version where I popped the pin out, and it was two, ring, two TPU rings that went in there. So this leg is probably worse than your average one. Uh, this this leg hasn't been modified. It's It's still bad, but it's... You know, it's still bad enough that he won't stand. So, I have these. Uh, these have switched material from PLA to PETG, and I'm using a textured build plate for them. So they have uh, a texture on the back, which is how it adds extra friction. Uh, how you install these is basically uh, these ones with the longer tail on them. Uh, go on the outside of the leg. So find the texture side. This isn't the textured side. Uh, this is. So you want to take that. And it's going to just peg into the leg there. Like that. And then this one is also going to peg in like that. Uh, this one is probably going to be loose no matter what I do, just because of how A, it's on backwards, and B, uh, the, it, I, I basically wrecked it when I removed the pin so many times. I must have removed it like five or six times. Uh, yeah, anyway, you take these smaller ones now and they go on the inside of the leg, make sure the textured size, side is facing outward. Or, well, inward. Basically, just make sure the textured side touches the pink. Now it helped. I mean, that one's still pretty bad, but this one's way better. He can actually stand now. Uh, how far can I make him go? Let's put his wings up so he has further to fall. Yeah, he still falls, but he can stand now. Yeah, just basically make sure that the textured side is facing this pink part and that the one with the longer tail goes on the outside of the leg and the one with the shorter little tail goes on the inside of the leg. If you ever want to remove them, uh, those tabs are basically there at this point and just so you can grab them with a uh, needle nose pliers and remove them. Uh, oh, and then here's the, the blaster so far. It's not looking so rough anymore. Uh, basically, it, the handle is so long because when it's in beast mode... It'll uh, plug into here, sort of. Still going through tolerances, but... Uh, yeah, basically that's been the Fangry Leg Stiffeners. Um, if you want a set of them, you can get them on jrcdesignstore.com. Uh, for these, I'm going to be having the print files up for free as well. Um, also with the TPU version that I made where you pop the pin. As long as you pop the pin just once and put the TPU discs in, it's actually like the best result you can get. It's just I didn't want these pins are really barbed and I didn't want to risk having people wreck their figures. So that's why I went with this clip on approach because I figured it was the best happy medium between someone destroying their figure and just an easy clip on solution without having to douse the thing in floor polish or super glue for hours at a time to get it to stand. So yeah, it stands now. It's basically fixed. Uh, if you enjoy what I do, uh, please consider subscribing, and uh, I'll see you next time.